Since 1952, NAMD has been an advocacy organization for the African American consumer market. NAMD delivers research data, professional marketing support, programs for students majoring in marketing and public relations, connects NAMD to national public affairs, and develops connections with other national organizations. NAMD showcased its history, its present, and its future during the annual national conference. The 57th annual conference was held in Washington, D.C., where NAMD founders initially gathered to discuss the critical need to create such an organization. It is without irony that it was right here, not too far from where we are right now, that the founders of this organization first convened their very first meeting. And back then, over 50 years ago, they too were taking a look at how we get African Americans into the mainstream, into the mainframe of America's economy. Things got off to a great start with the opening welcome reception. Business, community, and government leaders gathered for a great networking experience. The conference theme, New Marketing Strategies in a Changing Economy. U.S. Commerce Department's Rick Wade, Senior Advisor and Deputy National Chief of Staff, delivered greetings on behalf of President Barack Obama and pledged a network with NAMD to advance and market the green message. Uh, I have been very much aware of the work that you all have done for many, many years. And I wanted to stop by uh, just to express the importance not only of your work, but our interest in, in working with you to advance the causes that you represent, none more important than uh, minority business concerns and the advancement of minority businesses across our society. I can't think of a more important theme than that which you've already chosen. Because the fact of the matter is that even though we are in an economic downturn across America and the world, that it presents a unique opportunity for us to reinvent, to reinvent our economy, therefore reshape the direction of this country and the extent to which we can make sure that African American companies and enterprises are part of that will determine our very success uh, as a people and as a nation. Norm Bond, NAMD National President added, we established several new alliances that will build substantial value for the African-American consumer market. Today we have President Barack Obama on the cover of this issue, so I think we're kind of connecting the two. We're bringing Barack Obama in connection with our history uh, in Washington, D.C., and in a time of change, I think that NAMD can help to implement some of the strategies that we're hearing uh, from this new president because we also know that he's a marketer, right? How many knew that an ad age voted him, in fact, marketer of the year for the brand that he built and the techniques that he built? Attorney Janelle Carter of the law firm Mary and Scallett delivered an update on the Madison Avenue project, ending racial discrimination in the advertising industry, a historic initiative between the firm and the NAACP. The Madison Avenue Project brings together the 100-year legacy of the NAACP and fighting against civil rights, fighting for civil rights, excuse me, and Marion Scallett's proven experience with employment discrimination class actions. Our goal is to expose the widespread, purposeful discrimination that has entrenched this industry for far too long. Our goal is to bring about a new day in this industry where the agencies will institute fair employment practices and an inclusive culture that will allow all of its employees, regardless of race, an equal opportunity to succeed. Capitalizing on data to support bold marketing strategies was the opening conference workshop. Small business opportunities with the stimulus package provided insight on potentially accessing billions of dollars in federal government funds. We have to take the data and bring our customer to life. One of the things that we aren't doing is not understanding who our target is. So we go out and say, well, we talk, we, everybody is a target. And that's a big, 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 big problem. Not only with small businesses, but with large businesses as well. The need for increased outreach to African American business owners and consumers, including how to access the green dollars, was an area of great concern. All across this country, um, after the passage of the bill, the U.S. Conference of Mayors pulled together uh, its people and said you should identify a czar 
in each community who's going to be responsible for trying to uh, wrestle with the issues of the money coming into the community, how the money is spent, the economic development results, and reporting around this transparency and visibility. <laughs> well, I am he for Trenton. Uh, but there, across this country, people like me in every community at every state level. Um, we are in part making up the rules of the game, interpreting the rules of the game, uh, and if you don't partner with us, you are making a mistake. The future of marketing in a changing economy, Bright Ideas with Digital Media, was a highly interactive discussion and provided strategic tools for social networking and other digital tools. All these free marketing tools that I've used, I've used to market myself as well. And I realized that this is a tough economy and employers are trying to compress positions so you need to realize that it's important to market yourself. You have to market yourself because nobody is going to look out for your, your profession and your position like you can and you never know who is online. The NAMD Marketing Awards Luncheon was a major conference event and was emceed by Sheila Banks, award-winning TV producer. Honors presented included the NAMD President's Award, presented to Yvette Moyo of Real Men Charities Incorporated. The H. Naylor Fitzhugh Humanitarian Award recipient was Dr. Baron H. Harvey, Dean of the Howard University School of Business. The NAMD Communicator of the Year Award went to Roland S. Martin, TV analyst and author. The prestigious Moss Kendricks Marketer Award was received by Don A. Coleman, Chairman of Global Hue. And the NAMD Entrepreneur of the Year Award was awarded to Edwin A. Vent, President and Publisher of Heart and Soul Magazine. First of all, I want to say it's a great honor to receive the NAMD Entrepreneur of the Year Award. Um, we've been working very hard at Heart and Soul to make it one of the premier magazines in the country. Over the years, there have been several people who have been members of NAMD or who've been here, who've been brand managers at major corporations. They wound up being our customers. And so today is an incredible honor for me to be honored by the organization because um, it's nothing better than when you're honored by your peers. The International Business Kids Organization, which provides entrepreneurial guidance to youth aged 6 to 18 years old, was well represented at the event. NAMD pledged to assist this next generation of market developers. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dallas Hinton, president of Decents. I sell body oils and fragrance, and I made up a little motto. Everybody wants to smell decent. <laughs> Today, McDonald's respects the buying power of the black consumer, said John A. Dawkins III, president of Jodan Enterprises and owner of nine urban Philadelphia-based McDonald's franchises. When you commit to the community that you do business in, that community commits to you. When you show that community love, respect, when you get involved in that community, that community, those customers, that customer base rewards you with their patronage and with their sales. These kinds of results underscore the influence, loyalty, and power of the black consumer, stated Deborah Crable, NAMD board chairwoman. NAMD moves forward today knowing that its mission is as relevant as it was during its founding by the marketing, sales, and public relations legends. For more information on how you can get involved, visit www.namdntl.org today.